In this video, we are going to look at fast MCP and this video specifically would open some doors for you to test out MCP. Now we already know what MCP is. It's model context protocol. It's like a USB-C devices that connects to common ports of different devices. So for example, if we have an MCP protocol at the center, then that can connect to different data sources on the right on different tools and data sources. And on the left, there are different applications that use the MCP. So in this video specifically, we are going to design a client and a server on our local system and try to make some connections between the two. Specifically for the client, I'm going to use OpenAI and for the server, we'll use the standard MCP library here. Fast MCP is a separate, it's a Pythonic way to build MCP servers and clients and it's pretty easy. It brings up a whole new opportunities of making your own servers and of course we have different clients, for example, client we have Claude so we have different clients but we need servers if you want to host your own server then this video is going to help you so let's get started so for that we are going to work on our local environment and we need to have Ubuntu installed or Linux environment any Linux environment let's open up Ubuntu so once you're inside Ubuntu let's uh, look at the folders that we have so if you say ls we can see that we have all these folders so I'm gonna make a new folder for you so make dir and I'm gonna name it 23 fast mcp so we have a new folder go inside that folder cd 23 mcp and then we see inside we have nothing so now we go to our code editor let's go to code or uh, space dot enter and say why this will open up visual studio code editor for me to work on so i have this on the folder now i have opened up a new terminal here so in this video we are going to use uv we already know pip uh, library which is a library to get installations but in this video we are going to look at uv so in order to get started with uv you can go to this link i'll put in the link and you can see and get started and install uv easiest installation is just to pip install uv but why are people using uv it's because it's written in rust and it's like a 10 to 100 times faster than pip so in this video we're going to use uv let us install uv so pip install uv as simple as that now once we have uv installed now let's initialize a project uh, we can initialize a project by saying uv init and then you can see that we have these uh, three files uh, that are being made when we run uv init the first is this pipe project tml file and you can see that we don't have any dependencies as of now there's a readme file which has been made uh, and there is a main.py file pyproject.tml file is a file which manage all the libraries and other dependencies so for example you can add for example if you add uv add fast mcp so this is like pip install mcp if you add this you can see that it's pretty fast it added 67 packages and then you can see that it added the dependency here as well uh, one more if i show you if we say uv add open ai then you can see that it added this open ai package as well you can see that open ai 1.109.1 now it's so easy to remove uh, any package as well so for example open if you say uv remove open ai then it's pretty easy uh, you can see that the uh, projects has been removed so it's pretty easy to navigate uh, and install and reinstall remove different packages it's pretty much simpler and easier than pip it's faster than pip therefore we use uv the reason why i brought you here is because we are going to make our server here so i'm going to create a new file known as server.py and inside this file and inside this file uh, i put in this code so what do we do we import random from fast mcp we import the fast mcp class here then we get this object fast mcp name we just put a name of dice roller and stateless http is true we add this flag this is important otherwise it won't work also this as a decorator for example at the rate mcp dot tool and then we define this tool this is a function roll dice and then we need to give an integer so n dice int and this returns me a list of int so we roll the n dice six-sided dice and return the results so we return random dot ran int one to six for everything for the element in range of n dice so you specify the number of times you want the you want to roll the six-sided dice and it gives you the output in the form of list then if name equal to main we run this mcp.run transport http and we are running this on the port let's run it in 1080 port so we run this uh, for running this it's easy uv run 
uh, and then we say server.py and it's pretty easy so you can see that we have our server which is running here now we can create a client and connect it to our server here now at this point of time we really want our server to be on the cloud or we want to expose this local server that we have running here we want to expose it to the public now there are different services that will help you uh, get this out on to the public but the most famous one and the most uh, easiest one I would say is ng rock ng rock is a service uh, it's and it helps you to expose a public endpoint for your private applications so what you're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead to this folder here and then I'm gonna install this first so for installing ng rock now to install ng rock what you can do is you can go to the Ubuntu terminal that is opened and then type sudo snap install ng rock and uh, put your password here this will install ngrock so ngrock is already installed the next thing that we need to do is to add our authentication token so this is my authentication token i'm gonna grab this and add this token here and this is already added in my case but i'm adding this again next we can now deploy our app online so it's just ngrock http and at so we want our port to be 8010 because this is where our app is running so we have this public link as you can see the status is online uh, we have an account so we need uh, definitely to create an account here uh, in the ngrock.com and there is a free plan and which is uh, pretty generous so you can use that and you can see that i have this uh, link now now you can take this link and share it with the rest of the world to get access to the server that is running on your local system so the next step would be to test and to model the client uh, so that it gets access to the server now for the client uh, just for fun it's possible to do it on your local system as well but i'm gonna go to a gpu service and then show you there so the gpu that i'm using is runpod so you can go to get.runpod.io slash pe48 so when you go to runpod for the first time when you sign up for the runpod and you spend your first ten dollars on runpod you'd get anything uh, credits between five dollars to five hundred dollars once you log in you will have something like this where we have have pods and you can see that the pods uh, starts from anywhere six dollars per hour which is 180 gb of vram to as low as you can see uh, 0.25 dollars per hour which is a 20 gb vram and you can have this uh, 16 gb vram as well so i'm going to take this uh, select a default one select a lower cost one uh, go to edit and just expose this uh, i think we don't even need this set on overrides and click on deploy on demand this will launch the pod here okay you can go to the jupyter lab now which is ready so the jupyter lab has started uh can go to with the terminal here and just uh, update so apt get update and apt get upgrade this is a nice thing to do when you start any pods for the first time okay so this is done here as well i'm gonna use uv so i'm gonna say pip install uv so this will install install uv once i have uh, the uv install i can say uv init here as well it's not mandatory but just as a fun example so uv init and if you look at the pi project terminal we don't have any dependencies we need to add a uv add open ai and this will add open ai in the project uml so we see this dependency here or we can create a new file and let's uh, tell this let's call this file my client and dot pi file so i put this code here uh, in my client dot pi so from open ai we import open ai we have the url here so this url should be the same as here so we need to put the url as https uh, c2a 81148 c7b7 ngrock free app so this is our url we need to put the api keys of openai as well so in order to get the api keys you can go to platform.openai.com and you can uh, create a new secret key and copy that key and paste it and paste it here so this is a client and dot response and create we are using gpt 4.1 so the tool is an mcp uh, we are putting any uh, server for this uh, like in my server the server description is a server which rolls dice uh, just this is enough we are using the server url so this is a url and a slash mcp that's the server url we require approval is never and we put an input as roller dice five times and then we print the response of output text so that's enough can 
run this uv uh, run my client.py now it should be able to get hold of the server which is running on my pc and give it a result so that's great you can see that we have the results so these are the results of the six sided dice five times and uh, it's really amazing so before we go a little bit deeper into this i'm gonna summarize this again so what you have done is that we obviously need a client and a server so for the server we have started our server on our own system so the server is running on our own system and it's running in our local host 8010 port we have used the ngrock to make a public endpoint uh, using ngrock uh, as you can see this is online so we have this public endpoint here now once we have that public endpoint we go to run pods uh started a pod and go to my client you can see here we have created this python file this interacts with the url here and it's able to access all the tools that is available on the server which means it's able to access all the tools right now i have just one tool which is this roll dice tool i'm going to add two more tools uh, and then let's see if our model is able to pick up let's go ahead and add one tool so let's go ahead add this tool let's say this is one new tool mcb tool and there we need to add two numbers or give two numbers to the tool uh, a and b and it will return an integer but for just fun what i'm going to say is it returns a plus 2b so it returns twice the number of b plus a uh, just to make sure that our mcp is working now what we need to do is to stop this mcp server start the server again now here in my client in the client side this is a server which rolls dice and uh, add numbers okay we have two functions two tools uh, and i can say uh, what is the sum of seven and three let's say so i'm going to go ahead and run this again uv run my client pi and let's see uh, we can see the outputs here as well uh, you can see that it's running okay and you can see on the ngrock as well uh, we can see that there are success messages here very good so let's go back to the client and you can see that the sum of 7 and 3 is 13 how come 7 plus 3 is 10 but in our server we have defined this it has twice of b as shown here just to prove that the server is working now you can go on adding tools and your server is it could be a different you know your server could be located in a different place where different developers are looking into that and your client is the one uh is the customers that are using your server so you can see that it's pretty easy to make a server and a client you can add more tools i will leave that to you uh, to make this work now if that is clear i'm going to end this session uh, by saying that it's really nice to switch off everything so uh, we were using the run pod so i'm going to stop this run pod stop pod uh, and terminate this pod and in the ngrog as well i'm going to say Control c to stop this on the vs code as well i'm going to stop the server so everything is stopped how did you like it was it hard was it easy let me know in the comment section if you want to learn the enhanced olama that has web search inbuilt you can check out this video if you're really interested in testing out the run pods you can go to this link claim the bonus also there is a SaaS product that i have made for you guys uh, that's a remove background where you can put an image and it removes the background you can try this this is what i have built myself after learning everything that is possible uh, the provision of creation of accounts you can get 10 free credits i put in the, the pricing as well i will come up with a different video on how to make these SaaS apps but it's trending now you can go ahead and test this out and let me know if you want to try and make as well so check out this new video on olama and i will see you next time bye bye